Welcome to Media Beat. I'm Neil Vidyarthi, the editor of Social Times, and I'm here with Ricky Van Veen, the co-founder of College Humor. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how College Humor started and uh, what they're up to. So, um, you know, College Humor has grown up recently. Mm -hmm. and can you tell us a little bit about what that's been like for you? Yeah, well, there have been a few phases of the site. The first, when we started in 2000, it was kind of just a collection, uh, like an aggregator site. Like uh, one of the first user-generated content sites. And then the second phase was making our like, one-off sketches, like viral videos. And we became, I like to think that we became the best at that. And now we're in the third phase, which is doing more series and expanding into more, more long-form kind of things. Right. The audience on the web has a little, little more of an attention span now just because we're used to sitting in front of our computers all day. Right. And, uh, and then also, you know, having something on Netflix, you know, those devices are in front of couches instead of, uh, you know, desk chairs. So I think that helps a lot. We, we had our first, our first regular series that went over 10 minutes. And it was this show called Nerd Alert, and it's going on now. And it's an 11-minute show, and it was the first time where I watched a College Humor video that was that long and didn't realize it was that long. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we're getting towards audiences uh, not really demanding, like, well, if it's not three minutes or less, I'm going to tune it out. <laughs> and so I think that's going to be the, the next phase, like longer form, same quality, but, but uh, longer duration of the video. So it sounds like original content is like your main focus now. Absolutely. Um, I mean, we still have that base of user-generated submitted stuff mm -hmm. and links to stuff on the web, but what, what really drives new visitors and, and grows our traffic is, is original stuff. Right. So what would you say is the, kind of like that first break where you, know, you, you kind of made an original video and it actually went viral? It was something called um, Street Fighter The Later Years. You were always the big star, while I was the fat ass who buried his emotions in baby back ribs. Now! We put it out, and it was such a, such a thrill. Like, I kept, all night I kept reloading the page to see how many hits it would have, how many hits it would have. Right, right. And it kind of established a tone for what College Humor is doing with focusing on little shared pieces of nostalgia that became at first our, our bread and butter. Based on the success of that, we turned that into a series. And that's how we come up with a lot of series now. We'll just try one-offs of something, and if it works, we'll do more iterations. So how important is it to find new talent and you know, keep the existing talent for you guys? Well, you know, ever since uh, I graduated, I was asked the question been at, and been asking myself, like, how do you stay, you know, relevant and hip in the comedy world like after you're, you know, as you get older. And, and we kind of unintentionally developed this farm system where we'll find a funny freshman and, you know, they'll start writing for us and submitting articles. And then our, the Jeff and Streeter, our managing editors, will kind of help them and, you know, say this is good, this isn't, maybe you should try this. And then we hire them as interns when they're juniors or sophomores. And then when they graduate, if they're good enough, they'll, they'll get a job with us. Um, when we started off, it was literally, like, the people in the videos would be the people who were working on the website. And those people weren't hired because they were great actors. They were hired because we needed them to do things on the website. Now we can say, all right, let's hire someone to be an actor, or let's hire someone to be a writer. Right. And they don't also have to be, like, on their computer running the back end of a website. It was, it was a very... It was a very backwards way of, of, of building a, a cast. Yeah, well, you know, getting into comedy is such a hard thing. It's crazy that you were able to kind of to push that through. You know, you must have had this kind of inner circle of people that were really able to persevere yeah. in those early days. Are they all still around? Yeah, it's, it's funny. We have had zero attrition from ed the editorial staff nice. in 10 years. I mean, like, ever since we started. Right. Every other department, naturally, you know, like ad sales or marketing, have people come and go. But it's such a, a close-knit group of people. And also, I think we allow, you know, if someone wants to go off and write, like, a horror screenplay or something that's kind of, like, not, rela not you know, not directly related to what we do, like, we're like, sure, go, go do it. So we kind of let people pursue their interests while, uh, while still, you know, being part of College Humor. Cool. All right, well, in the next segment, we're going to talk about social media.